right, so your kid's crawling around the house, sticking his fingers in everything, and you're thinking, now's probably a good time to install those tamper-resistant outlets I've been hearing so much about. Here's how you do it. Step one, make sure your power is turned off with a non-contact voltage tester. Red is bad, you don't want red. Go turn off the breaker. There, that's better. Double check the lower receptacle in case it's wired on a separate circuit. Safety first. Step two, remove the faceplate. If you've reached this point and you don't know how to take the faceplate off with a flathead screwdriver, now would be a good time to reconsider your life choices and call an electrician. Also, make sure that your locality doesn't require you to have permits for this sort of thing. If you're just replacing, they typically don't, but I don't know your situation, so... So far, so good. Step 3, remove the existing outlet. If you somehow got past the faceplate and are now befuddled by the Phillips head screws, please see my prior suggestion. Also, sometimes contractors use whatever random screw is handy to finish the job. Like square head drywall screws. Just replace them with whatever came with your outlet. Also, lazy painters don't tape over the screws. It might not seem like much, but you might accidentally pull the paint off. You might want to take a razor blade to the edge of this, just to be safe. There we go. Step 4. Cut the old wires. Or just loosen the side screws if they weren't stabbed in the back. That was easy. Step five, strip your wires. The back of the outlet will have a strip length suggestion. It's right about, oh, here. These handy wire strippers make short work of it, but you could also use a razor knife in a pinch. Boom. Step six, install the new outlet. You could just stab it in the back. It would be faster, but faster doesn't always mean better, so... I curl like Thomas Lavold. Thomas Lavold, he's a curler from Norway. Oh, never mind. It's not funny if I have to explain it. The hot wires go on this side. White wires go over here. And your copper wire goes down here. Also, the black and white wires are paired. Make sure that you've got top with top, bottom with bottom. It also helps to curl with the tightening of the side screws. Almost there. Step seven, I think? I've lost count. Yep, seven. Definitely seven. Screw everything up! Okay, that was poorly worded. Just do the opposite of everything you did in the beginning. There. Step eight. Turn the breaker on and test your new outlet. There should be light coming out. There it is. If the light doesn't turn on, then you did something wrong. And that's one less peril for this dude who finds plenty of trouble already.